Hey, welcome back. We're going through the Gospel of Luke now. We're in chapter one still, so I'm glad you're well with us. If you haven't been with us before, you've gotten on board right early in the first chapter. Now we're looking at verses, chapter one, verse 76 through verse 79. Let's read them. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the highest, for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins, throughout, through the tender mercy of our God, with which the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Yesterday morning we did the first part of Zacharias' prophecy, and here we're finishing it. So notice now he turns uh, after the first part at verse 76, he, he now turns and he talks about the baby, the baby. You, child, will be called the prophet of the highest. This was the destiny of his son. God wanted him to be his servant, his prophet. He will go before the face of the Lord. He's going to prepare the ways to give knowledge of salvation to his people. Oh, there is something we should know about, like what, does, what is deliverance? What does salvation mean? John the Baptist is going to tell us some important things about that. Knowledge of salvation by the remission of their sins. Remission, that's a word we don't usually hear anymore. We might hear somebody say, well, I've got good news. My cancer is in remission. But what's going on here is that God is forgiving sins. And of course, when God forgives sins, he takes sin away. So God takes away the sin. He lifts the burden away. He forgives us. But as he forgives us, he transforms. You can't really have, you know, the, the heads of the coin without the tails of the coin. You can't have both sides. So you can't just be forgiven and keep living in, in wickedness. You can be forgiven. And at the same time, you can receive transformation. So that's the way God's medicine works. To give light to those who sit in darkness and guide our feet into the way of peace. That's what God wants to do for every single one of us. That's what he wants to do. Are we letting him do it? Are we letting him do it? Are we letting Jesus have his way? And so that's the, the fundamental question we all must ask. And we must ask it every morning. We need to be born again, born from above, reborn, transformed, uh, renewed, reconverted, shall we say, every morning. Uh, at least I need to. And I would expect that's the case for you as well. Let's pray for that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that through the remission of sins, you can transform us Forgive us and get us off to a great start this morning. Bless us. Help us to be in your kingdom, in your purpose, in your will. Thank you for bringing light into this world. May we be part of your light. And so, Lord, we trust you. And we're going to step out today and take every step we take this morning, uh, knowing that we can do that and seek your guidance at every step. Bless us and use us. Now for the big things, because those are the things that matter. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. There's many things in our life, mundane things, larger things, small things. Uh, the biggest thing is always the gospel. The biggest thing is sharing the good news. We are like beggars who know to find where the bread, you know, and so where the bread is so we can help others show them where Jesus, the bread of life, is. May God be a blessing you today at every step.